So let's talk about note cards and how you can use them. So first of all, if you're going to use a note card, first of all, you must have the source in uh, uh, as a source um, under the sources tab. So that is very important. Don't do the note card before you do the source because you want to link the two together. That's going to make writing your paper so much easier. But once you have a source in, you can start taking notes through the note card option. There is no limit on the amount of note cards that you can actually have. So let's look at what these note cards actually look like. If you hit plus, the first thing you want to do is um, think about what you're actually writing about. So maybe I, my topic is Hiroshima history. Okay. The next thing you want to do, and this is absolutely critical, you want to select the source. Now, once again, you have had to put the source in first. So I am going to be using um, my world book one, um, and that is absolutely critical. So you want to sync those two up, okay? Now notice here, depending on what your teacher says, that you have three different areas here. So first of all, this is where you copy and paste. This is where you paraphrase, and this is where you kind of put the, like, so what? Like, what are you going to use it for? You can even like put tags and those can help, help you organize your paper and your outline. So what would that look like here? So let's say here that I want to take this information here. And I'm just literally going to go in here into Noodle Tools and I'm gonna copy and paste. This is my copy and paste part, okay? So, then over here, I would put it in my own words and I would type that out. Um, so, you know, August 6th, um, 1945, you know, and I would do that. And then where am I going to use this? And I'm, I'm going to say, like, what does this tell me about it? And I'm going to say, like, historical perspective um, for background knowledge. So, you know, and it could be you could use it to make a certain point, you're advancing a point, um, you know, I could put a tag in, and then I'm gonna save and close. So here's an example where I have a couple of different note cards um, from a different project. And notice here that the default is for you to actually like click into it, so you can click into it, you can edit it. Um, but I can also look at my detail view now, this is really cool because I can actually take these note cards and pack them in. I can spread them apart. I can um, pack them in. And if I've done a good title for it, it's actually kind of making, you see here where I'm going here? It's almost making an outline for me. So I can go back here. I can like create this, like, and then I can make a title for this pile. I can say, this is all about history of aesthetics, whatever. Um, or history of Hiroshima. Um, and then uh, from that, um, I have that down and then I can go here and then I'm looking at these different note cards here and just, it's just so like, you can go through and edit and then it's just really, really helpful. Over here on your right side, is your you can create your outline based on of what you're seeing over here and so i can go in and i can edit this i can move things up um i can move this over here once you have your piles you can actually just move them over here so you can kind of see that that is what i've done and then you can adjust it like this so uh if i want to move something down or up create a subtopic, create a topic, um, then you can move it around like that. So super effective, helps you stay organized. Your teacher can see it, offer feedback. That's how you use the note cards and the outline function in Noodle Tools.